Oh, hello, awkwardly placed little camera. I'm Tim Fontaine, the illustrious founder and editor and grand chief of the wildly popular satirical website, Walking Eagle News. Tim Fontaine calls himself a recovering journalist. Because I've, I've been wanting to move away from being a daily news guy. After a long career with APTN and CBC, among others, Fontaine set up the satirical website just over a year ago. And since then, he's pumped out humorous and provocative headlines, like security guard who doesn't see color finds creative ways to racially profile Indigenous shoppers. Or how about this one? White people somehow unable to come up with Halloween costumes that aren't cultural appropriation, despite entire universe. This is, this is humor for us first and humor to make us feel good first before other people get it even, I think. Like the American site The Onion or Canadian send-up The Beaverton, Fontaine is now using satire to make his point. But are people ready to laugh at hot-button issues in the Indigenous community? Tim Fontaine joins me from Winnipeg. So, Tim, there's so much I want to talk to you about that are both, you know, humorous and serious, but I want to start with the serious. Why did you decide to get out of journalism? Uh, because it was so heavy. It's, uh, you know, there's people like yourself who have done this for, for years and, and people that I respect a lot who have done this for many years, and uh, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't, I couldn't cover another serious Indigenous issue again. I just, I, I had had enough. And I had always wanted to be a creative writer and work with humor. So this, this was my opportunity to do it, even though I didn't know it at the time. It was, it started as something as a writing exercise, but that's really what it was. I just, it really weighs heavy on you after so many years of, of covering some very, very, very heavy topics. And is part of that the strain that uh, yourself as an Indigenous journalist would feel when you're trying to cover a story straight up, but knowing there's also a community of people who believe that you should be reflecting their point of view? Exactly. And I think that's what it was, was there was this, this pressure that I felt. I don't know. Nobody was pressuring me to do this, but I, there was a pressure that I felt to actually say something and not just show it. And journalism... Uh, often is is just showing a particular issue, right? And you can you can add different voices to it, but you're showing what it is. And I didn't feel like I was necessarily creating any kind of change or saying how I felt about them over the years. Because when you're a journalist, obviously you don't you don't show your biases, or at least you shouldn't. Uh, and I certainly didn't. But when it came time to do this, this was my way of saying this is how I really feel about it. So you've got Walking Eagle News. That's what it says at the top of the page, and underneath uh, the foremost leader in the world of Indigenous <laughs> journalism. As I read out, there's yes. some provocative headlines there, but you're yeah. calling it news. What is it? Yes. Is it news or satire? It's satire. It's, it's, I, I, I finally wrote a, a disclaimer on the site after, after about a half a year because so many people were, were falling for it, which is never my intention. Like I didn't, I didn't start this to, to fool people. I did it because I thought that the format of news in the sort of absurd way that I do it is really funny and I still think it's funny that's why I keep doing it but you know people people are confused by that and so part of me wants to sort of I thought the name was a good you know sort of wink at people to let them know that this isn't real that name walking eagle which means a bird that's so full of crap it can't fly but not everybody knows that joke right so um, yeah it's 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 something that I still grapple with because I don't break character when I'm doing walking eagle either I'm always Walking Eagle News when I'm doing that. There's no telling people, hey, this is a joke, right? So, well, and as you know, I mean, people believed some of the stuff yes. on your site. There was one story in particular around the, the MMIW inquiry where you apologized yeah. and said, hey, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, I got that one wrong. Yeah. People didn't get yeah. the joke. So where is yeah. the line for you between fake news, which we all hear about every day now, and satire? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough, right? Because uh, there's, there's part of me that thinks, how, how do you not know that this is real? But on the other hand, like some of the ones that I write about about the prime minister come across as though they could be real. There's a, there's a plausibility to it, even though it sounds so ridiculous. There was one article we did where we said, uh, because the Trans Mountain setback, that Trudeau was going to rain fiery reconciliation on indigenous communities. It was this threat. <laughs> <laughs> and we had all, I had all these people emailing me saying, where did you get that quote? I've never seen that anywhere else, right? So, yeah, there is, there is a fine line, and I do grapple with that. Am I actually helping this dialogue that's happening in Canada right now between Indigenous people and non-Indigenous people, or am I just sowing more confusion? And I think uh, if people can laugh at it, it's even better. 
Okay, but, uh, but let me still jump in there because yeah. that's my other question. Is I looked at the stuff and it, it did make me laugh, and the second after that I was like, <laughs> "Am I allowed to laugh? Is, or is this yeah. just meant for indigenous people to enjoy the humor?" And it's I don't know. What do you think? No, I I think it's for everybody. I think if you, if you're not comfortable laughing at it, I think at least you're you're looking at it, right? And you're examining this relationship, and you're wondering why why is it that indigenous people feel this way about the way the government treats them or the way things are in this world, right? So I think there's there's that benefit to it, even though you don't feel you can laugh at it. Although I feel there's I don't think there's anything on there that that nobody couldn't laugh at it. I mean, there's certain articles I've written that aren't that purposely aren't funny that deal with racism, but I think for the most part. Everything there is open game for people. Well, I certainly see the satire in it and, and the provocative headlines, and I did laugh. I think other people will too. So thanks for talking to us about it. Thank you very much.